Okay, so we're back at the Royal Hawaiian Center where Jumbi is. We gotta go check it out. Hannah's here. There's a street market or something going on that we gotta check out. I wanted to show you guys because potentially we're just scoping out different locations and seeing what if we do Shrimp Daddy here? What if we do it there? I don't know. Hey, look at all the people, man. There's so many people. So far, this place is pretty packed. And I feel like it would be a really good place to bring Shrimp Daddy, especially because Juby is right across the street right here. This is the main street in Waikiki called Kala Kala. Uh, they shut it down and I think it would be a great place. What do you think, Cedric? Like good it. place? Okay. Like it. What do you think, Brandy? Good place? Perfect. Good place? That's a yes. Wow, look at that. Mochi don't. We need to get a sign like this, dude. We need to get that. This is the best booth. Look at this. It's so cool. It's the bat signal. We need to have a shrimp one. Maybe. <laughs> wow, Maybe mochi like donuts, dude. Oh, look at Brownie knows everybody, dude. Do it, look. What, two of each? We're going to get taro, strawberry, churro, yeah, lily koi, ube, matcha. I think I really want the taro and the ube because I want to see if there's a difference there. So why do you know everybody on the island? Because it's small, my brother. Oh, okay. If you guys want to try Aloha Donut, business card. Oh, we got the strawberry. Wow. We got the cinnamon, wow. the ube, matcha, wow. the and the taro. We were supposed to eat dinner, but like I think we're going to eat bre breakfast and before dinner. This is dinner. This is dessert breakfast. Yeah. Anna wants the matcha. What do you think? You guys better not put something else in there and edit it. Good? Matcha queen approved? Yep. Go taro. That's good. That's really good. As soon as stickers are involved, Anna goes straight away. And we got these. These are made out of bamboo. These are some pretty cool stickers. Okay, this will be it. You're gonna that one off road. All right. For life. All right. What did you get? I just got three. Okay, you got a spaceman serpent. My favorite flower. A sunflower. Don't give her roses, just sunflower. And then a butterfly. I'm just a girl. I just want flowers and butterflies. Guys, look at this, the Tesla bot. What the hell? And Elon is such a freaking troll. Don't mess with Tesla, way crazy. All right, we have who here? Rich and... Melissa, we just got engaged on this trip. Oh, congrats, so visiting Hawaii? Yes, yes, sir. And out of nowhere, he said hi to me. Yep, yep. Um, yep. We saw you from Vermont, he was like... Oh, is that Joe? Who yeah. are you looking at? <laughs> One cool thing about living in Hawaii is I made so many friends here and one of my friends just opened up this place that we're about to go eat at right now. Uncle Sharky Poke Bar in Kahala Mall. We got Stanley in the house making some poke. Oh man, is that mine? Wow, wow, wee wow. Oh, that one's got shrimp, it's got mayo, it's got furikake, it looks like fun. So if you guys get to go, you get this awesome bag. Wait, is it extra charge? 25 cents. 25 cents, that's it? Yeah. For something yeah. this that's sick? Say that again for the camera. <laughs> I honestly love Junbi. He came to Junbi like <laughs> so many times already. I have to come to his shop at least once. <laughs> Okay, yeah. try it. You know, I was so hungry this morning. Now? Now I'm all better. You feel better? I feel satisfied. Okay. The hunger's gone away and I love you again. Oh, look at this here. It's like a crazy party. You got all kinds of different stuff, ingredients, corn. You kind of try to get it all at once. Mmm, and a little bit of hair. <laughs> 
Terry, you enjoying it? Yeah, I had poke for lunch yesterday, for oh, breakfast this oh, morning, really? and now for lunch, and I'm loving every bit of it. <laughs> Hawaii this, style. This might be the best one, though. Uncle really? Sharky, Woo! Oh, my friend. another little stop along the way. Carrie convinced us. I it's worth asking what the freshest ones are. Mm. Look how Japanese. excited you look. <laughs> we're Japanese, so we have to get Japanese baked goods. Is that the excuse you're making this time? Yeah, that's the, it's not an excuse, it's cultural. If you like just the ends, look, it's just the ends of all the bread. I feel like every time we hang out with Carrie, we're eating and non-stop eating. That's what we're doing. I don't know how you stay so fit with a six pack. <laughs> Show the camera. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's kind of, uh, Suggestive. Kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. A little sexy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to squeeze it then, but that would be worse. <laughs> Whoa. Is that cream cheese? That is cream cheese. That looks wonderful. That bread looks soft. Yeah. Wow. Japanese style. That's very good. It's like cheesecake in the middle of a bread. Cheesesteak? Okay. <laughs> very soft. Very soft. Oh, that's good. Cheesecake with... It's like a blueberry cheesecake, I believe. I just want to believe Show that. Show me the middle. Look at that. This is exactly what I had as a child. Super memories. Wow. We're back in Chinatown and I love the aesthetic here. And we are going to my new favorite pho restaurant right here. You know what I find interesting is Chinatowns all over from Europe to the US, they have a similar vibe, a similar build, and a similar smell. I probably eat Vietnamese food maybe three times or four times a week. It is one of my favorite in the whole entire world. So you could trust me when I say this is one of the best spots in Honolulu. Phu Kui Kui Hong. Tell me if I said that right, guys. They got hardcore shit here. Check this out. Okay, now you might be like, yo, let's get some pho. But they got pho ball sack, baby. Can you do that? Oxtail pho is really good, but I never tried that. If you ever had beef testicle, let me know if it's actually delicious. Hannah loves Vietnamese food, but she rarely gets the pho. She always gets the cooked stuff. What are you getting today? I'm gonna get the special combo rice. If you guys don't know what that is, that's what it is, man. You got that shrimp cake, you got that egg, you got that pork chop, you got all of that shredded pork, and then you put that nook mong fish sauce on it, and then you go bon appetit. And for me, pho dag bien. Special pho. It's got that motherfucking ball sack right here. It's got that gut. It's got that raw beef. It's got that deliciousness. And we can't forget Cafe Sida to keep us high, right? What? To keep us high. I'm really sleepy. Then you need a dip. Hannah swears she's not a weeb or a fob, but she can't resist Daiso. Hot. You wanna get that? It's a hot day. As soon as I walk by, I lose her and she's looking at these Chinese trinkets. Tell me she is not a weed. <laughs> 